What's up guys, it's Enrique, PRG Real Estate, uh, brokered by EXP. I'm here with Zahara Wong, my teammate, uh, for another Agent Success Spotlight. Welcome, Zahara. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. No problem, no problem. So I wanted to bring Zahara on because she's been having some tremendous success with our team. And I thought it'd be great to kind of chat with her about, you know, what she's been up to, kind of what has led to her success, and uh, maybe just kind of share, you know, what's working in her business right now. So, um, Zahara, when did you start with our team? Remember? So, yeah, I've been with PRG since last August, kind of like mid to late August last year. Okay, so you just celebrated the one-year anniversary with us. Yeah. And um, I just want to talk about kind of your, your, not only have you done an excellent job of production and killing it right now, but also kind of stepping into the leadership role and stuff on our team. Mm -hmm. um, so number of transactions-wise, what, what have you done since you've been here? I um, believe I'm just about at 30. 30, 30 transactions. transactions. And we were looking at your volume before that for about 30 million in volume. Yeah, just a little over 30 mil. Which is awesome, awesome. Um, and I guess maybe give us some, some background. Before you came to PRG, what were you doing before? Um, you know, kind of what was, what was happening in your business before you came to PRG? And what do you think has been the difference now? Yeah, so I've been in real estate for a few years prior to PRG. I wasn't necessarily super full-time. I was kind of doing it. I did it with the team before. I also tried it on my own. And I would say within that couple of years, I, I only closed probably like 10 on my own. Mm -hmm. um, so that year that I took off with you guys, it was just like day and night to what I had been doing. Awesome. And, and you reached out to, to me. I think we chatted online or something. Yeah. That's kind of how we got connected first. But I guess what was happening at that time and why did, why did you feel you needed to reach out like to our team and stuff like that. Yeah, I had seen what you guys were doing and I was actually getting, I think I was getting your marketing um, in my email and I just kept seeing you over and I, and I started like looking into the team. At that time I was on my own and it was just kind of stagnant, didn't really like know where to be getting leads from and things like that. So I think what was attractive about the team is just you guys had so much momentum. It seemed like a really fun, young, like energetic environment and there was like a solid lead source. So. Awesome, awesome. And you, you've really taken advantage of that. Um, a lot of your, uh, a good portion of your business has come from leads that were generated through our different online sources and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I guess from what you were trying before, like tell me about that. Were you mainly just getting business on your own? Did you have any online leads or how were you generating business before you came to our team? Yeah, so I had been on another team. They had some leads too, but it was it was a little bit different. And then when I was on my own, it was mostly like sphere and things like that, referrals from past clients because I had closed some at that time. But it, it wasn't enough. Got it, yeah. got it. And I, I think, I guess, maybe let's talk about the difference of like when you joined our team, was it a lot different, like the routine, your daily routine and all that stuff, was it different from what you were doing before? I know <laughs> we kind of joke about that, but talk about that. It was, right? Because I mean, when you're on your own, there's no one really to hold you accountable to what you're doing yeah. and, and kind of shooting in the dark. It's, it's totally different when you have a team, we're in the office every day, 9 a.m., the music's going, energy is like hyped and everybody's working towards the same goal. It's really powerful. So um, the structures that were in place here and just how much we were like tracking our numbers, I really needed that. And I remember I think on our first meeting, you asked me like, what is the one thing that I need growth in? And I already knew the processes really well. I knew I knew all the like the the information that you should know to you know help someone buy and sell. But it was really that accountability that I think I lacked. And I think the numbers speak volumes too. Yeah. That it really worked for me. Yeah, I remember that. I remember like it's like no, you got to be here at this time. You're making calls. <laughs> I mean, was there like an adjustment period you had to go through, or was it? Oh yeah, it was tough. I mean, we were we were here from like in the beginning. It was like nine to six all day long, and that was I wasn't doing that at all before. It'd be like a couple hours every day, like look at my you know my emails, do all yeah. that. But it's like it was it was hardcore, but it really paid off. Yeah. No, and I think so. And. And I think that's the thing with a, a lot of agents, no matter what level you're at, like accountability plays a big role, right? Yeah. You know, there's, it's a gift and a curse to be self-employed, right? Great thing is you're self-employed, you're your own boss, but that's also what works against you, you know, sometimes if you're not disciplined to show up. So I think that's, I could say that's one of the biggest values we bring to just any agent who joins our team is that we're all doing the same thing. We're all yeah. doing it at the same time, you know, and especially in the beginning when you first started with us, like there was a lot of structure for you. Right. Right. How has that changed now, now that you're producing and you're, you've kind of climbed up the ranks within our team? 
I think that, you know, you learned, I learned really good habits, mm -hmm. you know, when I first started. And so now it's kind of like built into you. It's second nature. Now we're prospecting a couple times a day for a few hours at a time. And, and that, those habits just roll over now. Even if I'm not here nine to six, I'm definitely on top of my stuff. My pipeline is healthy. I'm prospecting every day and making sure that I'm following up with my leads and nurturing and um, just get just out there. Yeah. Yeah. Out there with my clients. Awesome, awesome. And, and I want to ask you kind of like a, a personal question, if you don't mind. Like during this time you got married, right? Yeah. How has that, has that played a role? Has that been a challenge at all of trying to like balance, you know, all, all that stuff, the work, work life balance? That is a good question. It, it definitely made a difference. So I think it, I got married kind of shortly after I joined the team. Mm -hmm. So it, it really helped actually having the support of my husband and, uh, you know, roles were kind of reversed because in the beginning I was the one like holding down the house, doing the dinner, the cooking and making sure, you know, things were uh, kept up at home. And then once I started coming here nine to six, by the end of the day, I'd be kind of burnt. And then I have consults at night and I'm still working. So it was really nice to have that support um, at home yeah. to be successful. I think that made a huge difference, but it's good having a partner who's really understanding as well and, and really supportive of my growth here because I think that real estate is such, it, it can be such a life-changing vehicle to, you know, work for yourself and can generate a lot of wealth in, in a short amount of time and change your life. Is there any advice you can offer someone who's like, you know, trying to start a career, career in real estate, but then, you know, they have a family or a spouse or whatever at home, any sort of advice from your own experience? Um, I think having some, having the conversation up front about, you know, I think as with any business that you start, you have to put your all into it and having someone that can support you through that and be there for you and understand why you're working so hard and why it's not just a typical nine to five and then you get home and you're logged off. Like, no, we have clients that need us and call us and they work those typical hours. So we're working nights and weekends a lot. And so just being upfront in that regard and having someone on board with you, it it's going to help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's true, you know, because... It's like, especially if you've never ran your own business before mm -hmm. and like you're venturing into a career in real estate or any business, right? Like you don't sometimes know what you're getting yourself into, right? right? And clients, they, they want help when they want help, right? Yeah. Like when they're available. And, and in the beginning when you're building your business, you often have to jump at every opportunity, right? Yeah. You know, now that you're kind of established and you got, you know, good deal flow coming in, has that changed at all? Like, you know, yeah. what clients you take on or like maybe expectations you set with your clients and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. And you hit it on the head with setting expectations. Same with like I do with my husband. I do with my, I do with my <laughs> clients too. Like, hey, just let you know, like maybe, you know, these are the times where I'll be available during the day. If it's going to be anything after hours, I'll most likely respond to you the next day unless it's something urgent that needs to be answered, like time sensitive stuff or for writing offers late at night. But for the most part, as long as you set expectations, people are okay because yeah. it's how I run my business. And in those hours when I am available, I'm going to kill it for them. I'm there for them all the time. And as long as they know ahead of time I'm not available on this day, they're okay. Yeah. They're fine. And I remember, I think we had a conversation about that before. And I think it's really a mindset thing, right? Like sometimes people think, well, if I'm not available 24 hours a day, my clients are going to leave and yeah. they're going to go with someone else. But is that true? Have you found that to be true at all? No, I've never had a client get upset about that. Obviously, if there's something time sensitive again or offers that need to be written, but for the most part, everyone's okay. They understand. It's just setting that expectation. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things we had talked about was even like when you first meet with the client in your presentation, like saying, mm -hmm. hey, these are the hours I work or yeah. this is the day I take off or stuff like that like letting them know up front so it's not a surprise later on right. right and i think with the junior or like the newer agents that come to the business you can set your schedule the way you want and so at the beginning i was and even for myself i was a lot more available a lot you know i i it didn't bother me but now you know you get to a certain level where you we're okay to like step back just a little bit and take those nights to have a little bit of self-care time because you really need that especially when you're closing that many deals and you have that many people needing things from you all the time it's a it's important to take some time for yourself yeah absolutely now you 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 talked about newer agents right now and, and junior agents we have that position on our team yeah um you've over the last year you've climbed up the ranks and kind of went from a newer agent to now you're a senior agent on mm -hmm. our team and now you're in our leadership group where now you're getting the chance to coach other agents and up and coming ones what's mm -hmm. that been like I'm glad I got to go through every position in the office, um, and it's it's really incredible because at first I, I think I had doubts even within myself of can I be 
be an effective leader or how can I teach? Like I always say, I'm not a teacher, I'm a realtor, right? But I think, you know, being able to give back and, and help these newer guys and when I help them book an appointment or help them close their first deal, like it feels amazing. There's, yeah. there's nothing better. Like commissions are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but it's really nice to help people. Yeah. And I've seen you really step into that. You know, it's, it's, it's been awesome to see your journey on our team from, I remember when I first interviewed you, right? And uh, I was like, man, this, she has a lot of potential, right? We just need to maybe tweak a couple of things. And it, I think it was just a couple of little tweaks, accountability and yeah. obviously leads and opportunity. And, uh, but now seeing you kind of climb up and now seeing you coach the next group. And you just did an awesome training for us last week where like I was getting text messages after like, man, I want to be like Zahara, <laughs> like... How does that feel to now like know that you're impacting these newer guys? It feels good. I, I can't lie. It feels really good. And like I said, it's it's just it it's so like uh, what's the word? Like it, it to it's like it's so much satisfaction yeah. to see them like winning. And we're our group is like hyped. Like we're ringing bells every time someone books an appointment or closes a deal or whatever. And like the energy is just so amazing. And it's. I think sometimes, you know, I still have that doubt in myself, like, was that a good training? I don't I hope, but, you know, I'm genuine about all of the information I give, and I, I'm honest with it, but it's nice to hear that people really, like, appreciate it, and they, they learn things from it, and it's still, even some of the, the more experienced agents in the office are like, I really, like, they even can take things from um, my presentation, that feels really good, too. Yeah. Someone texted me that Zahara is goals, <laughs> which is cool. It's cool to see that. It's cool to see everyone, you know, you having success and then you now passing on that knowledge and, and, and all those things that made you successful to the newer agents on our team. Um, I guess lastly, um, to kind of close off for, you know, you're having above average success. Like to say the average agent is only doing like, I don't know, less than eight deals a year or something. And, you know, you're three to four Xing that, right? So... What's maybe like a couple key pieces of advice that you would give to any agent who is maybe struggling to kind of take their business to the next level? Um, I think that obviously finding a place where you're really comfortable with the people that you're working with every day, I think that makes a huge difference. Finding people that have common goals like you. I personally was in an office that in an area that was very like you know really high price points and everyone was already really successful and so me as coming up it wasn't giving me like the motivation or like the the like drive that I needed so finding an office that even just feels like home to you I think that's so important finding a team with accountability and and honestly I think for a lot of people they want to start by themselves I've done both and I think the team way is the way to go having leverage of the team I've even just like when I was on vacation, like having a team that I could just say, hey, these are the clients that I have that are like hot and writing offers and being able to trust a team member to get those, you know, client service. I was closing deals when I was in Dubai. Like that was, that's amazing to me. Um, I've worked with, I've partnered with so many agents on our team and just being able to be two or three or four places at once, that's incredible as well. So I would highly recommend for anyone struggling is to even just find a good team and just go for it. Team with leads, team with structure, team with accountability, and some good reviews, and I think you'll be all right. There we go. And then at the end, of course, you got to do the work. Right? Yeah, I mean, you got to do the work. <laughs> do the work, it yeah. works, like Emmanuel on our team says. Yeah, I mean, uh, they can lay it out there all for you, but you got to show up every day and, and do your best. Yeah, and that's one thing I've seen you do is, is we put the plan together, we've, we've given you the tools, and, and you've just made it happen. You've, you've gone all in. And I think there was a turning point early on when you, when you first joined us we had a conversation. We talked about this whole vibe check. <laughs> you remember that, right? It, it, was, it was like a turning point where I feel like you kind of like came out of your shell a bit more and you just like stepped into it and you kind of went all in. Yeah. Like you were kind of like treading cautiously in the beginning. You were kind of filling that's things me. out. That's a little right? me. I'm like, I very much have to like see what's going on and then I get real comfortable and then yeah. that's when I just like let it all go and but have fun with it. once you did that, yeah. that's when I think you, you started blowing up. Yeah. Because I think... Being able to be authentically you and have fun with what you're doing, your clients will feel that and appreciate that. And it's just, and even for me, it's, do I want to be somewhere and just like be inside myself? Not really. Like I want to be able to have fun. And, and I think being part of the right team also helped me with that. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, I think we hit it. A lot of good stuff. <laughs> Zahara, um, just want to say congrats. Like, you know, I appreciate your partnership. You've been doing awesome. You're going to continue to do awesome. I, I know that. And I uh, appreciate you being on our team and also sharing with everybody out there 
Um, everybody follows Ahara. I'll post her, her information in the description. But she's, uh, she's also on social media, putting, her, putting some stuff out there. So get Thank you some you. followers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, guys. There you go. Agent Success Spotlight with Zahara Wong. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you got some value out of it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you hit that like button, share it, drop me a comment. Give me some feedback. I always love to hear from you guys. Um, secondly, if you are looking to grow your business or take it to the next level and you're feeling lost, you're feeling stuck, maybe you don't know what your next move should be, book a free call with me, guys. I'm offering a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call with you through Zoom or over the phone or we can meet for coffee. But um, let's talk, let's peel back your business and let's see how we can help you get to the next level. I'll share everything that we're doing and see if it could benefit you. So um, hope to talk to you guys soon and see you on the next video. Peace out.